I've never seen before in the Hawaiian public opinion in general. Elections before were in some way capitalized by the Colorado Party. They, by, they have a mix <coughs> of populist and nationalists because the Colorado Party in some way um, have an ideology related to the historical problem of Paraguay. Uh, somebody maybe know that we have a terrible war in the 19th century, the Chief Darius War between, between Argentina, <coughs> Brazil, and Uruguay, and uh, ended with uh, one more or less one million Americans dead and the destruction of Paraguay. So that problem speaks now in very clear in the psychology of the people. That was exposed by the Colorado Party, particularly the right wing Colorado, and to understand and why the problem is a, an article that we wrote with a teacher <coughs> last year in the Latin American Research Bulletin that we explain exactly why the na national problem in Paraguay is so overwhelmed and <coughs> so important. So when I reached Paraguay in um, April of this year, I thought, uh, even I, I wrote a long article for the Ultima Hora, that is the second paper in Paraguay, predicting that Lugo would win. That was one year before the election. And about that uh, prediction, even myself, I was in doubt. Uh, I thought everything was ready for the change. Because the Colorado Party was split in different and different uh, sectors. There was a uh, accommodation also of the old uh, clientelist uh, inside the countryside and also the, the, the new the new way of Latin America. That was kind of different. And inside the Colorado Party there were many people disaffected with the politics, particularly the people from the, the countryside farmers and peasants who started to really to <coughs> say other things. And there was another factor, the Liberal Party, that is another traditional party in Paraguay, that sectors of the Liberal Party were ready to participate in a united coalition with the left. That is also totally, you know, uh, unbelievable in Paraguay. So that was in 2007. The other factor was that Lu, a person. Lu was not really related to any political party, even if one of his relatives was uh, a Colorado, but on the opposition, they made the flag that. Uh, but he was a priest, and um, in some way he was also very friendly, or in some way he was uh, committed with the, the lucha, the struggle of the country of you know, the north of Paraguay, that is the more the private part of Paraguay. So he would see, he would see like, a, can say the the right bishop in Paraguay. He was not really soldier, but anyway, people need somebody who is clean. That is Paraguayan politics, but it's really difficult to find clean as a person without any kind of link with the corruption, with the cancer, with any political party. <coughs> so also Lugo was very friendly with the, I mean, was part of an organization being Tecoyoya, that in Guarani language means justice. Tecoyoya is justice for the most people. And there was an organization that was in some way linked with the middle class, the some middle class intellectuals, one of them, my friend, Carrillo and mine, another. And they met usually in Asuncio sometimes in San Pedro, that is not far away, in a very friendly meeting. We are friends, and I have some even relatives there, young people who were there talking about how we are going to do the thing and they say we are going to organize that the women and we are going to go for election. And you are going to be the candidate. I said, Lugo, Lugo. So we accept that. And they told me after that, because I followed from here, I thought, 
first time in Paraguay, we even couldn't believe when we started to really to, to feel that people support us. So when I was in Paraguay in April, that was the work. At the same time, the sector of the Colorado Park, the right wing sector, and the obelistas, that is a fast group, they were in some way putting uh, something they could even do. They, 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 they used every kind of propaganda to try to diminish the group. He said that he was linked with the FARC in Colombia. He said that he was engaged with the uh, FARC. <coughs> he said that he was the figure for diapers. You know, they published a big poster, and we were actually that in the city of Asuncion, when he was a diver with the horn and with the tie, and he was adapted to rural countries, this is Lugo. So that was the kind of propaganda. They saw, because the Colorado Park is a very powerful machine that they were to be successful. But he won the election, and after that, uh, well, we are going to, I'm going to with enough decision that having something that um, what Peter said. The problem is now is 100 days after the war. So there is some uh, idea, uh, today I read some message, some uh, article in the paper, that there is not, nothing really important in the social um, reform and change except some Corruption, but in general, for our states, they exactly the same. You know, there is no big change. There is no really, uh, in some way, it's like a, a hundred days of everything in the same place. So, that's a very uh, worrying thing in some way. Social unrest are everywhere. The country scene of the Pakistan are not just uh, um, protesting and organizing themselves, but also there is the other problem related to the soya bean grower who becomes really not just an agrarian problem, but also a national problem. And who is there? What he achieved in this time? First thing, he said to clean up all the the structure of the state, particularly the military. The new defense minister, um, Barreiro Spinsky, is an honest man, few military honest in Paraguay. He started to change all the you know, generals and the officers. And I have a, we have a information <coughs> many, many um, young officers who really are don't want nothing to do with the Colorado Party. And in some way, politically and ideologically, uh, uh, with the ban of social and political change in Paraguay, that is also me. In some way, they were accused to, to be very close to Chavez or Evo Morales, the Chavez. And also, uh, they have some, this is a very important thing, the military in Paraguay was always <coughs> uh, so called support the fascist and the Russian So, why did Lugo in some way uh, have the support of the most of the people, like the picture the market? It's important that we call him the end set. I don't know if you uh, know something about mathematics. Mathematics is one set. When it's empty, it's like a zero. So that zero is untouchable. Zero, we need to change. We have to, in some way, uh, make or the zero is a more is a necessary. In the case of Paraguay, is a necessary. Um, yeah, is a necessary. Is a necessary point that has to be fulfilled in some way. Many sectors of the Paraguayan society are participating <coughs> in that, uh, in the idea of Lugo, and think that Lugo will change in such way that he 
is working for the popular, uh, popular mobilization that has to be has to be has to take care uh, in way, has to push for the change. So I have too many things to say now, but uh, I think that I could be by now. If you have time to change the question, then I could be more. Okay. Well, uh, well, thank you all for coming. I, I'm tremendously excited today because I've spent the last two or three years trying to persuade the people who run the Cuban Solidarity Campaign, Venezuela Solidarity Campaign, the Colombian Solidarity Campaign, they have to branch out and embrace the other changes that are happening in Latin America.